The key goal of Threat Center is to be a unified workbench for threat detections and to be the primary starting point for investigations and response. Detections can come from the correlation engine, the anomaly detection engine, or third party alerts. And we're automatically grouping these detections based on our detection grouping rules to surface up relevant threats. Cases can be created manually or automatically. An analyst may review an alert and escalate it to a case for further investigation. Or a playbook can be created to manually escalate alerts that meet its conditions. Because we understand that Threat Center also encompasses anomaly detection rules, we have a default playbook that automatically escalates an alert to a case when an entity reaches 90 points of risk. Let's review some of the alerts. This is not only where you'll see individual alerts or correlation rule triggers. You could also see entities that have not become notable, but could have, to have up to 89 points of risk. And if they cross that threshold, i.e. 90, it'll become a case automatically. We also have the ability to group alerts. In this case, a source IP address. When we're reviewing a possible data exfiltration incident, we can see the various triggers or detections against this specific external IP address. This is a powerful feature that allows us to group detections holistically based upon the source, which in turn allows us to understand the full scope of the threat. Let's go back to our cases. I can also use a powerful search feature to see what cases are assigned to me over the last 30 days. Let's review one of these cases. I can click this link to understand how the risk score was created. In this case, 11 detections based on 10 anomaly detections on anomaly engine and one correlation rule trigger. I can also see the event entities involved in this entire incident, as well as mappings against MITRE, while most importantly, mappings to use cases that may be of importance to me and my organization. On the right hand side, we have Leverage AI Copilot, which gives us a detailed summary of the possible threat indicators of this case and the remediation steps that we can take. We can also directly interact with the actual AI by clicking on the AI Copilot here. Scrolling down, we can see all of the detections that trigger this risk score. At any point in time, I can open search to review the forensic logs. I can also pivot over to our behavioral analytics platform to understand the full chronological timeline of events. One thing to note here is that each detection is described in natural language for us to review quickly and respond quicker. I can add attachments as evidence, I can review the history of changes to the particular case and add my own notes as I progress in this investigation. And finally, I may wish to send the event to a ticket to, via webhook or send an email to a member of my team uh, via the integration here.